Hey, my name's Ken. I'm an adventure photographer and videographer. And recently I got to go on a trip to the Olympic Mountains in Washington State, USA, where me and my friend Anton got to win this a crazy cloud inversion. All right, guys, I'm in Luminar Neo here and let's get right into the edit. So these are the five photos I'll be doing the HDR merge with. So doing the HDR merge itself is actually really simple. All you have to do is locate the HDR merge on the right hand side, select your five photos to stack, drop them over, hit merge, and Luminar will do its magic. So the reason why I'm doing an HDR merge is because of the exposure difference. So if you notice the uh, sky here, it's very bright and the brightest, whereas everything else is nicely exposed. And the darkest one, the sky is nicely exposed. And what this will do is it uh, stacks five images with different exposures to create one image with a nicer overall exposure. As far as the HDR stacking part goes, we are done. It's as easy as that. I'm going to make a few personal edits, so keep watching if you want to see that. So because we're posting on Instagram, I'm going to crop it to 4 by 5 And I'm also going to use a rule of thirds and place the subject on the right hand side, one third here. Going to use the develop tab, brighten it up a little bit, bring down the highlights there. Bring up the shadows a little bit, bring down the whites a little bit, bring up the blacks. Gonna leave the rest like that. We're gonna come here to the Twilight Enhancer and we're gonna add a little bit of uh, enhancement here. So, as you can see, what this Twilight Enhancer does is it just makes it look a little more like Twilight and it adds a little bit of purple to it, which I like. Um, so, that's good there. Atmosphere, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of haze as I'll show you. It just adds a little bit of uh, exposure and and uh, brings up the shadows a little bit in the clouds, which I like. So I'll leave it there. Landscape, again, I'm gonna add a little bit of golden hour here. I like the orange. Um, We're gonna come to the relight tool. We're gonna go to masking. Object select, AI is going to do its thing. And we're going to select the subject to uh, my friend Antoine here. Just like that. We're going to go brightness near a tad bit. So as you can see, that's a little too much. If you add just a little bit, that brightens them up a little bit, which I like. So we're going to skip all this except for the glow. So we're going to go to masking in, object select. This time we're going to select the clouds here. Go to adjustments. Up the mouth a little bit. And I do like the soft focus out of all of them. So as you can see, just adds a little bit of contrast and a little bit of, uh, of color as well to the clouds, which I really like. Um, we are also going to use studio light. Masking, I'm going to also use object select to select my friend Anton here. I just want to brighten him up a little bit more. So you go to here, amount, add a little bit. Well, yeah, I do like somewhere in here. So we'll go with that. We'll leave the rest of this. We are going to use dodge and burn though. So if you see dodge and burn here, it's a brush. Make the brush quite a bit smaller here. Something like that. Just got to color my friend Anton here just a little bit. And we're going to bring down the amount obviously because the full thing is just too much. Just we're going to create just a little bit of a glow around my friend here. And that's it, we're done. All right, so we've come a long way. As you can see, this is the before and after. And check out where we came from. This is one of the uh, five exposures. This is also one of the five exposures. And this is the final image. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And hopefully this video gave you a better idea on how to edit an HDR photo on Luminar Neo.